Good morning, you guys. Erin here at Eat, Move, Rest, and welcome back. Or if it's your first time to our channel, then welcome. So today we're going to try something new that we would like to create a little bit of a rhythm out of, and it's something we probably should have done right from the start. So this is going to be an Eat, Move, Rest day in the life vlog. So I'm going to be sharing some helpful tidbits in all areas of meals, movement, and mindfulness and meditation. So all things eat, move, rest. So if you're here for recipes, there will certainly be a recipe portion. If you're here for fitness, there will most definitely be some helpful insight for you guys into how I'm working out and exercising, some tips, tricks, and tools that I'm using, especially postpartum being a mom of two. And part three is going to be, like I said, mindfulness, meditation, all things motherhood, spirituality, that all kind of falls under the rest category. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. We're gonna try and keep these concise and short and sweet and to the point. So jumping right into breakfast. Today we're gonna focus on breakfast meals. And I always like to remind you guys, if you're really wanting to optimize your digestion and your energy levels, then what you eat should have a certain flow throughout the day. And while I don't always adhere to this, if you're looking to heal your gut, this will help you tremendously. Aside from going plant-based, here is how I would recommend starting. Number one, what I'm doing right now. Start with 32 ounces of fresh filtered water in order to signal to your body, hey, it's time to wake up and get ready for digestion. So start with water and then move into something like juice, or a smoothie that's already very, very digestible. From there, you can move into things like fruit, raw vegetables, things like maybe a healthy salad for lunch, working in more of your cooked foods later on in the afternoon. If you're trying to heal, this would be a great way to get some flow into your day. So we need like a short and sweet name for these besides like meals, movement, mindfulness, and motherhood, like 4M, I don't really know, but since this is the first one, we're gonna start with juice. Since, again, it's like the most digestible, it's very nutrient dense, very beneficial for healing in a natural modality. So, green juice. We only juice about once a week because we're not really in a healing state. If you are, you might wanna check out my three-day juice feast ebook, and you might wanna consider juicing every day for a while until you feel like you're back on track. We always get asked what our favorite green juice recipe is, so I'm gonna be sharing that with you right now. So the first thing I do is I always make sure to add one to two water-dense vegetables. My top picks are cucumber and celery. So this is about one head of celery and then two to three cucumbers should do the trick. For that, I pick two, sometimes three leafy greens. The darker, the better. My number one pick is kale. I love dino kale. You can also use curly kale. My second pick is collard greens. You can also use Swiss chard or spinach. And then after that, pick an herb. My two favorite herbs would be parsley or cilantro. Both of these are great for cancer fighting. They're great for your bone health, your eye health. Cilantro in particular is great for chelating heavy metals. And I also find that these two herbs keep the best in the refrigerator for the longest time. So I will snip the ends off, pop them in a glass of water, just like a vase of flowers, and put them in the refrigerator and they will no joke last about two weeks. I'll also include some type of citrus, either a lemon or a lime. And if you're new to green juices, you might wanna try adding some fruit in. So I would recommend adding a green apple or some pineapple. Last but not least, ginger and turmeric. These are the most potent powerhouses when it comes to fighting cancer and detoxifying your body, reducing inflammation, Typically what I will do, rather than adding them into the green juice, I will just take a large amount of both and juice them individually into a glass and Dusty and I will do ginger turmeric shots. They are seriously such a zinger. They give me like an instant jolt of like energy, but not in like a caffeinated way. So try to add in some ginger and turmeric root if you can as well. Green juice, any type of juice is always best consumed on an empty stomach and fresh, which leads me to my next point. We always get asked what juicer we use and what we recommend. The Nama J2 juicer is by far our favorite. We always recommend having your own equipment at home rather than going to expensive juice stops for smoothies and juices because they're using high-speed juicers which are going to degrade your end product. And if you buy already juiced in the store, same thing there. So 
Fresh is best. This juicer is amazing. It's a slow cold press juicer. It's gonna do the least amount of damage slash oxidation to your juice. Cleanup is quick and efficient. And the best part is Max and the kiddos get to help out because it is safe. So basically this feature right here allows you to throw everything in and the juicer will not turn on unless this lid is snapped and closed. So we have a ton of fun when we get to make juice together. Max always gets excited and we love it. So check it out. We will link it below in the description along with the discount code. While things like a high speed blender and a juicer seem like a lot up front, it's a worthy investment that'll save you tons of money down the road. So this amount makes about 36 ounces of green juice. If you want more, again, add more celery or more cucumber. So if you guys want more juice recipes, more of any type of recipe or workouts, check out the meal planner. Everything is in there. Whenever we do a green juice, we always follow it with a smoothie or smoothie bowl because we need those calories, especially for the kids. Next round, we'll do a smoothie bowl similar to this one, which is our absolute favorite. So stay tuned for that. Now we're moving on to the move section. This is when I usually get my workout in after breakfast. I like to work out late morning, usually no longer than 45 minutes. And you know, I've been all across the board from extreme cardio to only resistance training to crazy 40 day programs. Now I've kind of found a happy balance between all of the above. I really love using dumbbell weights because anybody can pick those up and make their own home gym, which is what we've done in our garage. My other tool that I wanna share with you guys specifically today is the yoga block. So I really love using it to get a greater range of motion, which equates to a better burn and a better tone up. So I'm gonna show you five of my favorite moves. They have helped me to get so toned up in all of the right areas. You guys can do this at home. You can repeat the circuit as many times as you want to make it 20, 30, or 40 minutes. I would recommend either doing each move for about 60 seconds with a 20 to 30 second rest or do 12 to 20 reps of each move. My first move is just a typical squat. So you're kind of on your tippy toes. It almost feels like you're wearing high heels while you're squatting. It's great for your glutes. It's great for your quads and for your calves. I like to use 15 or 20 pound dumbbells when I do this move. Next is a yoga block reverse lunge. So pick a side, start there and step on the block and you're just going to lunge back with the opposite leg, holding the dumbbells either on your shoulders or down by your side. And then after 12 to 20 reps, you can switch sides. This move is great for glutes and also your quads. Third is an upper body, shoulders, chest, arms, and this is on the floor. So we're gonna be doing yoga block, uneven push-ups. Pick a side again and do your reps or for 60 seconds, then switch sides and do the same. Next, we're gonna work our core. So flip over on your back on the floor and we're going to do a yoga block handoff between our arms and our legs. This one's fun. Leg lifts are probably my favorite core move because you're using your own body weight of your legs to work your core and your hip flexors. On that note, if you guys wanna hear anything on postpartum and diastasis recti, I can share moves specific to healing that in a future video. Last move that I am obsessed with is a plank. There's a lot of different variations of moves you can do using a yoga block in the plank position. I love it because it works your full body. And you guys know I like to get in cardio bursts while I'm resistance training. So another favorite move that I do constantly, a lot of times in between sets, is burpees. So adding the yoga block just adds that extra little oomph. If you guys want more guided workouts, we have tons of them on our channel and on the Eat, Move, Rest meal and workout planner. And last but not least, the rest portion of the video where we're gonna talk about mindfulness, meditation, spirituality even falls in this category as well as rest and sleep. So here we are in the bedroom and the number one word that comes to my mind is sanctuary. How can you create a sanctuary where you sleep? Because the truth is we sleep one third of our lives in our bedrooms. So that's about eight hours a day where we have the opportunity to totally help or hinder ourselves in major ways. The number one thing Dusty and I do is we keep our cell phones either on airplane mode or better yet, out of the room completely. We even unplug the plugs 
to our lamps that are right next to our beds just because any sort of electrical impulse next to your head is not optimal. We no longer have a TV in our new home, in our bedroom. So beyond what we've eliminated, what can you add in as a helpful tool to help you get better rest, to help you heal and rejuvenate? If you notice a trend here, we give you kind of a recipe or a formula plus a tool to use. So the green juice plus an amazing juicer. For the workout, we gave you a circuit to do plus a yoga block as a tool to use. And how does that translate in the bedroom? I would love to say this meditation app or this devotional app, but again, that goes back to devices and we're trying to eliminate them, especially at bedtime. So what I would say instead is go old school, get back to the basics, get a good devotional book or just a good story, some source of escape and also relaxation. I find that whenever I open a good book, it's lights out. <laughs> I don't think so hard about, oh my gosh, am I gonna get eight hours? I need to fall asleep right now. Instead, it just kind of happens more naturally and peacefully. So I would recommend getting a good book. I'll link a couple of our favorites down below in the description. Another topic I would love to go in depth on with you guys is how we have upgraded everything from our mattress to our organic bedding to our pillows and what kind of fill is in them to avoid allergies and dust and dander to even the bed frame itself being a natural wood. So maybe in a future video I can touch on that if you guys are interested and I can link all kinds of fun goodies, even the sheets that are like silk but they're vegan. So if you guys want to hear more about that, let me know in the description. But for this week, I think a helpful tool you guys should utilize is a good book at bedtime and doing your best to avoid blue light. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Get yourself a green juice, a good sweat session with a yoga block, and focus on sanctuary. If you guys like these eat, move, rest, meal, movement, mindfulness videos, if you want to see more like it, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, leave us some love in the comments below and let us know what recipe or tool you're most excited to implement into your life, what area you need the most help in, whether it's eat, move, or rest. Reach out and DM us on Instagram because we would love to connect with you guys and help you out. On that note, be sure to also use the tool that's already there for you, ready to go, loaded with recipes and workouts, the Eat, Move, Rest meal planner. It's linked in the description. And until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Bye, guys. A good book? Do you have a good book to recommend to our audience? <laughs> Here's your bedtime book. There are three things we all do every day, and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.